Welcome. My name is Damon Brown of DamonBrown.net. You're watching the Bring Your Show. My main thing is help you as a side hustler, a solopreneur, or otherwise a non-traditional entrepreneur. The Bring Your Work Show is every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 11.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's, uh, where am I? Las Vegas, Las Vegas time. I forgot where I lived. Las Vegas time, <laughs> 11.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. My main thing is giving you insights as a side hustler, as a solopreneur, um, anyone who's uh, over-mentored and underfunded, shout out to the parent community who I talked to about that, who gave me the insight in regards to that, and helping you figure out how to live right now in a post-pandemic world. Um, I actually have some speaking engagements that are in person that are happening in the fall. I have mixed feelings about it. <laughs> There's so much stuff going on, but I'm also excited to get back on the road. This show actually happened during the pandemic. I started uh, officially December 22nd of uh, 2020, 2020, got my years mixed up. And it's been such a wonderful journey. I'm gonna to continue to do the show, but it's been great in the sense of, as I talk about in my new book, Built From Now, this sense of <clears throat> the things that we lost over the past year during the pandemic and all the things, all the insights that we gained because we slowed down enough to see them. Uh, I know starting my YouTube channel with Bring Your Worth, as well as shout out to Amazon Live and the people that are watching on there. Um, it's been a wonderful experience connecting with y'all. I love this connection. And I also look forward to connecting with y'all in person as it is safe to do so. So every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 11.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, you can actually subscribe for free uh, through the YouTube channel. And that's at uh, youtube.com slash brown damon. And then you just click the link there. If you're watching on Amazon or if you're watching on YouTube, which is kind of a meta thing. But if you're watching on YouTube and you want to subscribe and get a notification every time I get a new episode, come through, give a thumbs up or give some good stuff to the algorithm. I can't even say the word algorithm as well. If you want to give some love to the channel and make sure it gets to other people who, are, who might be feeling it. Um, lastly, as far as the intro, you can take a free quiz based on my new book, again, Built From Now, How to Know Your Power, See Your Abundance, and Nourish the World. Take a free quiz based on the book. You'll figure out what your biggest resource is, whether it's focus, agility, time, or energy. Focus, agility, time, or energy. I did a TED Talk about it. You can actually check it out on the YouTube channel. Um, it's right there on the front page, so you can't miss it. But if you want to learn more about your own resources, I implore you, my favorite word right now, implore you to take the Build From Now quiz at buildfromnowquiz.com. It's free, it takes two minutes. We're approaching a thousand people. Might have crossed over a thousand people that have taken it. So I'm loving the love and I appreciate the, the support. All right, so what we're gonna talk about today is great books for entrepreneurs this year. Great books for entrepreneurs this year. You might be saying, Damon, it's July 7th. What are you talking about? Well, I found that there's so many good books that came out and that come out in general, like every single year. You see my bookshelf here. These are my favorite books. I got some more below me. I got my boys got some of my books. They're, uh, they're uh, five and eight. So they're starting to get to the point where they're reading and they're really starting to enjoy my books, some of the books that I have, at least not the ones that are talking about topics that they're not ready for, but <laughs> the ones that they're ready for, I'm happy to have them take it off my shelf. So we got a house full of full of books with myself and my partner. And there's so many great books that come out and we miss so many of them. At the halfway point, I like to check in and say, what books did I miss? So I'm going to recommend some books that I was really feeling. And actually one book that came out last year that I just found out about. And I y'all need to hear about that, too. And so we're going to go, go through this list and check it out. Uh, before we do, there's a, a couple of interesting things that are happening right now. Uh, number one, I'd recommend that you grab the uh, the playlist that I curated over at the YouTube channel. Excuse me. Again, all this is free. It's smart creative routines. I found that a lot of us as creatives, and you can be a doctor, my wife's a pediatrician, or you can be an uh, independent uh, publisher and author and um, public speaker and one-on-one -on -one business coach like I am. We're all creative in our own spaces. When we do creative work, then we tend to think that chaos is the way. If we have a strict routine, if we always get up at 5 a.m., if we meditate for a certain amount of times, if we always go for a run, we think that's gonna make us stale. It's actually the opposite. 
Science has proven this. I've found that with the hundreds of people that I've, that I've, uh, that I've coached, um, for the people that have mentored and coached me, I learned that from them, that if you have routine, that actually gives structure and framework to the work that you do. I curated about a dozen different videos from the Bring Your Worth channel. Again, it's all free. Each of the videos are like five minutes to 15 minutes. You know, as I say, or as Channing Nicholas says, who I learned from her, shout out to her, is take what resonates with you and leave the rest. So it's like 12 videos on there. Again, it's all free. If you don't like a video, skip it. Uh, but it's all good videos that talk about the different ways we can establish routines and why it's important to have a structure to our sandbox. So I highly recommend that you check out that. Um, I actually have a new video that just went live the other day on Monday. And it's actually an excerpt from a conversation that I had uh, two weeks ago with Equius Kelly of the Black to Business podcast. And I have a little snippet on here if you guys don't have a time. We had like an hour long conversation though. Check out the snippet. I talk about being uh, BIPOC or a minority in a majority run field, if that makes sense. Uh, whether it's coaching, um, I've done two startups. My second startup, I ended up selling it at a profit with two colleagues of mine. So being one of the few people that I know who's a, a male person of color, you know, who's a primary caregiver of their two kids who sold their company. Like there's very few of us out there. So about being an outlier and how you being different than everybody else doesn't make you wrong. It just makes you different. And in some cases, that's an indicator of, of you having a vision that's longer than everybody else's. I get into that in a snippet. It's like a 10 minute long snippet. If you wanna to listen to uh, the whole episode, I would highly recommend it. Um, and uh, yeah, it's about an hour of your time. It's a podcast. You can click on the link right there. Excuse me, you can click on the link right there. They kind of mash, mesh together. So if that doesn't work, you'd always type it in. It's blacktobusiness.com slash 51. I'm the 51st episode. And I really enjoyed the conversation. It was a uh, excellent discussion. And um, yeah, if you're looking to, looking to own your power and grow your hustle, this would be a good place to start. Um, my last recommendation um, before we get into it would be a new book that just came out. I just started reading it. I literally just got it in the mail. So shout out to Jennifer Fink. I just got it in the mail right before I was gonna go on the air. I think I was like two minutes late getting on the air because it, it was a knock on my door or actually it was a notification and I ran out and got it in the Las Vegas heat because it's 110 degrees. It's first time mom's guide to raising boys. So I'm not showing it right by Jennifer Fink. Jennifer Fink and I, or Jenny as I know her, go way back. She has, I believe, four boys, and her boys are older than mine. And so I remember us connecting through the ASGA conference, American Society of Journalists and Authors, many, many years ago. We worked on committees together and all that stuff. I remember having a drink with her and talking about me. I think I was just having my second son. He's five now. I think I was just having my second son. And I was talking to her about, how do you do it? You got, I believe she has four boys. And I'm like, all different ages. Like, how do you do it? And she had so much insight. I literally just started reading the PDF of it a few days ago. It just um, it just came out uh, on Tuesday, so yesterday. I forgot what day it was. It came out on Tuesday. It, I just got it in the mail, so I did not get a chance to put it into the Amazon link. If you're on Amazon, just look up First Time Mom's Guide to Raising Boys. You can check it out or post post edit after this is recorded. I think it's called post edit. I am not a production guy. I'll try to throw it in there. If you're watching on YouTube or LinkedIn, you'll see the link right in there. Click it, grab the book. I just started reading it. I'm enjoying it already. And I know Jenny personally, she's got some serious game when it comes to raising boys. I know it says mom, but if you're the primary caregiver, you're a mom too, right? So shout out to Jenny. Congrats on the new book. All right. So what we're going to talk about are the best business books so far this year. Um, one I would recommend, which I would be remiss if I didn't, would be we actually have, we as an I, have a new edition of Build From Now that's coming out. And it is going to be available in a couple of days. Let's see, it's available specifically on July 28th. I should know this because I worked so hard on it. The original version of the book came out January 28th of this year. You guys supported it so much. I partnered with uh, Costco. I partnered with uh, Afrotech. They interviewed me. Shout out to Will Lucas over there, as well as Raven, who's moved on to other things. Um, the wonderful folks over there. A lot of that is documented on the YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Brown Damon. 
all of his documented. So all the launch parties, all the events, all the fun stuff that we did, that was January 28th. Now we have a new version of the book, which should be in the mail any day now for some of you that are pre-ordered, that um, if you're watching on, um, on Amazon Live, you'll see it. It has the salmon cover. So same cover as this, but salmon cover. And it's thicker because it's the deluxe edition of Build From Now. The deluxe edition has a couple improvements. I found a couple errors in the book that I corrected as part of the process. Excuse me, if you've done any type of creative work, you know that doing errors the first time excuse me, is kind of how it works. So you end up having a second edition, you make it a little bit cleaner. So that obviously has a new cover. And it also includes the original Bring Your Worth, which, ah, here it is. My kids are always playing with my books. I don't know where they are. Like I said, they always got them. Bring Your Worth, How to Know Your Power. I'm sorry, Love Up Your Creative Power, Power Value, and Service to the World. I'm so used to say the subtitle to Build From Now. Now these are both together in the deluxe edition of Build From Now. Trying to do some magic there. So the original Bring Your Worth, the predecessor to Build From Now is in here. So super cool. So really good for the value. Um, it's part of a series. And so it's part of a bigger discussion about how you can bring your worth to your communities and how you can build from now based on the resources that you have. You see what I mean? They're all connected. Bring Your Worth obviously is the name of this, this show. Again, you can subscribe over at uh, youtube.com slash Brown Damon, subscribe for free. But the new edition of Built From Now is a continuation of that conversation. If you want to learn more about Built From Now, if you're just catching up to the show, because uh, I've been talking about it quite a bit since even before the launch of it, um, I recommend you go ahead and listen to a, a free snippet of the audiobook, which is, which is available everywhere. You can listen to it on my YouTube channel at, again, youtube.com slash brown damon. Just click on the link there. And you'll learn more about the book. All right. So the first one I'll recommend is Built From Now. And that, again, the deluxe edition will be out. Today's the 7th. It will be out in three weeks. Wow, time is flying, isn't it? All right. So the next one that I recommend is from Cal Newport, A World Without Email. Sounds scary, but it's actually a fascinating book. I had a chance to talk with Cal at the top of the year. I think his book came out about a month after mine. So I want to say late February, around Valentine's Day. Of course, it was a bestseller because he's known for his work. Uh, his big book is called Deep Work, where he... he changed our whole view as far as how we focus on things but like dropping the multitasking um staying focused on whatever you're focused on putting your, your phone on on mute and i have to actually use my phone to stay on amazon on uh, amazon live right now that's why i'm looking down but <laughs> right, so just to give it make that clear but you know to be able to stay connected to the work that you're trying to do and also allowing yourself the space to not get distracted from other things. A world without email is pushing that conversation and saying, what are we trying to accomplish with email? And when he says email, that's kind of a trigger or representation of other things. So in the book, he talks about Slack. He talks about um, Instagram and of course, social medias. He talks about a lot of things and how we can be productive around that. I highly recommend the book. I think I read the book in like a night or two. So it's not heavy reading. It's, he's a researcher and his background is he's a professor. So it's some dense stuff, but it's not unrelatable. And if you're trying to do anything productive, I highly recommend the book. So many of us waste time on emails and we're trying to get to inbox zero and we're responding instead of actually taking action. And I forgot who said it. It was someone in Silicon Valley. It probably was around the time I lived up there. But they said, if you're only responding to emails, then you're responding to other people's requests and needs. You're not actually fulfilling your own. So if there's something that you want to create, an impact you want to make in this world, and you're just responding to what other people are doing, then how are you going to make your unique vision happen? I don't know. I don't have an answer for you. I frankly think you can. But if you have an answer, cool. But I can't. I can't do that. If I was worried about what was happening on social media right now, I think there's like three things that people are outraged about, about on Twitter right now. <laughs> Shout out to Twitter. I love you, Twitter, but a lot of a uh, lot, of, lot of garbage cans on fire right now. And it's stuff that might be important tomorrow or it might pass over like the weather. But I'm focused on y'all because the non-traditional entrepreneurs, the solopreneurs, the side hustlers, y'all are who I care about. This is where I'm spending my time. This is my focus. After I hang up with y'all, I'm going to spend some time with my kids. That's my focus. So if you're just responding 
then you're on you're following other people's agendas, not your own. We had a great conversation about it. At least I thought it was great. I learned so much. I talked to Cal and had a live conversation with him again when the book came out, like late, late February, early March, something like that. And uh, yeah, the whole conversation is live. So we had a half an hour conversation. Why email sucks our time. And Cal gets into it. Now, again, I had read the book in a night or two. So I know the book pretty in a pretty detailed way. He went beyond the book and started breaking down some of those series even more. Please listen to it if you're struggling and feel like you're you're dying under <laughs> under a, a thousand paper cuts from all the all the proverbial emails that you're getting. You understand the mixed metaphors, I hope. All right, the next book I would recommend uh, for this year, first half of the year, will be Think Again by Adam Grant. Uh, if you've been following the show at all, you know that Adam and I are cool. His book came out it's almost a twin to Build From Now. I was January 28th. I think he was a week after that. His books usually come out midweek. And so shout out to him. And he was he was very kind as far as congratulating me with my book too. Adam is a powerhouse. He's a many times TED speaker. I'm a many times TED speaker, but he's on a different level, many times TED speaker. So, you know, I definitely give him his, his respect. His main thing is talking about um, workplace psychology. He's a warden professor. He's had many best-selling books. There's another one. This is the latest one. Think Again is about the assumptions that we make without realizing, right? It's good stuff. Thank you, right? And so his book is about, about changing the assumptions that we tend to make without realizing. You know, as actually Bernadette Johnson has said to me, you know, a fish doesn't realize that it's in water. And so what he's trying to do is help us see the water. If I believe that, and I'm currently li listening to his audiobook for uh, Give and Take, which is his first major hit. So I'm just catching up with that one. Um, I have originals over here, you know, and I have not read uh, uh, Option B yet. But his, his Au revoir, I think that's the, what, the French term for it. His catalog is like immense. So now that I have a little bit more time, the boys are going back to school now. I'm able to catch up on this stuff. Going back to, to, to Give and Take, he addresses that again in his new book, Think Again, where if your assumption is that, that, that if you share with other people, they're going to take your ideas, they're gonna take your energy and it's gonna be one-sided, then that's gonna create a framework for every single relationship that you have, right? That's very much a give and take idea. With Think Again, the newest book, he's basically saying, if you don't realize you have that mentality, then you can't correct it you're not going to accept any input that's different from that. We tend to be very stubborn as humans. We take security in believing that a certain thing is true. And if that thing isn't true, then our whole world is rocked, right? It's like saying the sky is red instead of blue, right? The water is yellow, which it shouldn't be. The water is yellow instead of green or blue. He talks about giving great pop cultural examples He's Wharton, so he's given like the studies. He's nerding it out and he's also doing the pop culture. I love pop culture. He's giving all these great references. I love the book. I highly recommend it. I actually have a video talking about some of Adam's theories. And actually came out right before he uh, he came out with, um, with Think Again. And it's about his view of time management. If you've actually uh, gotten built from now or if you get the deluxe edition, which as I said is out now, I'll put it up on Amazon for you guys. There you go. Um, if you get the deluxe edition, I have a, a few quotes from Adam on there, and including a quote that I end up talking about in this video about time management. It is groundbreaking. I love it. I love it. Because it really does have to do with how much time you have, but where you put your focus. If y'all know me at all, you know my work, you know I'm really about the focus, especially in the new book, Bill, from now. Excuse me. Be sure and check out the video. It's a really short video, like seven minutes long but it breaks down some of those insights that um, Adam has about time management. And this next one is a little bit of a cheat because it came out about a year ago, <laughs> but I gave myself a pass because number one, I love the book. Number two, I just found it. So shout out to Dan. And number three, we're in a pandemic. I don't know about you, but I had other stuff in my mind <clears throat> last year rather than just reading books. Now I wrote a book, I started this show, I had my two kids to take care of, along with my partner, make sure everybody was safe. We had a million things going on. 
I will give myself a pass on this because this was not this year. It came out March of last year. I looked it up, but I just found it because like many of us, I was kind of busy. Upstream is a fabulous book. It's by Dan Heath. Um, Dan and Chip Heath often do uh, do books together. Yes, yes, exactly, right? Right. I was talking about this book last week, right? So other folks have gotten into it. It is a fantastic book, and this is why. There's a great analogy in there, but I'm not even going to get into that. If we make good decisions now and have the vision as far as where things are going to go, okay, I am going to use an analogy, where things are going to go down the river, then we can prevent issues later. There's a, um, there is, I want to say, a Russian philosopher slash weightlifter that's been quoted a lot by Tim Ferriss. I cannot remember his name. I think his last name begins with a J. And Javanik, I can see his face. He was interviewing the Tim Ferriss show. And he has this really simple saying. He says, he says, easy decisions, hard life. Hard decisions, easy life. What he's trying to say, my interpretation of it, again, it's Russian. So my interpretation of it is that if you do what you need to do now, then you won't have to sacrifice as much later, right? If you do the easy route now, if I say I'm not going to show up, I'm tired. I had a busy day, which I did have a busy morning. I got my kids here. I got a million things going on. I'm not going to show up for my show today. That means that it's going to be harder for me to connect with y'all next week on Wednesday. But instead, every single Wednesday since December 22nd, I believe, whatever that Wednesday was before Christmas, I've been here with y'all every single Wednesday, even when I was traveling. That's a hard decision, especially, especially when you have little kids, there's a pandemic going on. This isn't my main line of work. <laughs> so I'm a journalist. I'm a one-on-one -on -one coach. I do public speaking. I do a whole bunch of other things. But doing the, that hard decision of showing up has allowed me to build a connection and build a community with y'all, which I'm very thankful for. But that required making the hard decision of saying, I'm going to show up every Wednesday, right? Upstream gets into that. And it's not just about the discipline aspect of it, but having the vision, right? I was talking to someone recently and we were talking about how they're going to strategize things from now on. And I admitted that one of the biggest challenges that we have right now is that we're strategizing our future based on what we have now. But that's not true. It is the middle, early middle July right now. My kids, thankfully, are going back to school because it's a little bit safer for them. So two months from now, three months from now, they're going to be back in school which means my partner and I will actually have space to do work during the day. I won't have to keep an ear out for my kids. I won't have to juggle as many things. We might even have be able to go to lunch together. Who would have thought? I haven't been able to do that in two years. So I can't make plans for fall of this year based on the resources now. That's upstreaming. I need to make decisions based on where we're going to be. As a family, me as a career, that's why I have my in-person talks this fall, because my kids are going to be in school. I can actually go on the road. And it, obviously, it's safe enough to go on the road if we take those precautions, right? I wouldn't be on the road a year ago. I wouldn't be on the road six months ago. The fall, though, it's looking okay. So I have the resources later. So I need to make decisions into the future, not based on the resources I have now. I talk about that briefly in Build From Now. Again, the deluxe edition is out on July 28th. You can grab it on Amazon or wherever you like to grab it. You can actually grab it through my website at damebrown.net. Get a nice signed copy from me, as well as get um, the accoutrements, and get the mugs, and all that good stuff that you might like. But the main thing is to figure out where things are going to go. He has an excellent many, not even one strategy. Strategy after strategy as far as how organizations and individuals, solopreneurs like myself have done this. Fascinating book. I got the audio book. Um, he does it himself. I really liked his voice. It like worked out really well. I think the link I have here on here is to the audio book. If not, I recommend the audio book and just click over and uh, get what you need. Um, and what I recommend as a good pairing to that, <laughs> sound like a sommelier, uh, a nice pairing to upstream 
would be um, a recent show that I did, A Better Way to Reach Your Goals. I talk about upstreaming, which is kind of the verb of it, the action of it. I talk about upstreaming. Um, I also talk about, um, I think this is one where I talk about um, a couple of theories that Seth Godin had, um, as well as some theories that go to classic management strategies, go back to Silicon Valley. It sounds very complex. I think the video is only like 12 minutes. So if you got 10 minutes of time, you can watch the video. Recommend you check it out. Again, if you subscribe at youtube.com slash Brown Damien, you won't miss episode. I think I did not do count. I think this might be the 120th episode of, of the Bring Your Worst show. In six months, you know, we're doing it. And I'm doing it, but but you know, you're part of that community. And I appreciate your support. If the support wasn't there, I wouldn't still be doing it. So I appreciate all the love. Um, and I think that's it for today. Yeah, I think that's it. Simple ending to it. If you want to subscribe, again, you can go to youtube.com slash Brown Damon. And the new edition of Build From Now, sorry, I have tech issues. The new edition of Build From Now, uh, this is the old edition. This is available. You can always get it on Amazon or your favorite platform. But the new edition, which is Sam in Color, again, if you read the book, you know what I'm talking about. It's Sam in Color. It's coming out July 28th. You can pre-order it now. You can also get it through my website at damonbrown.net. And I will throw that up there right now. We'll do it live. <laughs> Extra points if you, uh, if you get that reference. All right, so DamonBrown.net, you can check it out. That's the hub for everything. Even if you want to check out the YouTube channel that's embedded into the website, if you want to buy any good stuff, whether it's, again, the Build From Now mug, or I'm sorry, Bring Your Worth mug, Build From Now t-shirt, um, the old edition of the book, or particularly the new edition of the book, check it out, have fun, and until next time, remember that you can bring your worth and that you can always build from now. Take care.